In this video, we're going to implement Photos tab for the group profile page as well as for the user profile page. We're going to render all the photos that is uploaded in group or in the profile page with the possibility to expand the photos and see on full screen and navigate between left and previous buttons. We're going to use the uh, same component, what we have already used in the post attachments area. Now, let's commit this and we're going to move forward. So the, the biggest change here is that we have defined this uh, main timeline and we are only outputting the content right there, which is relevant to the user. We did some minor changes, such as sending the notifications to the followers when the post is created. We have improved this part of the code. We have defined this... Uh, Let's remove this, by the way, it is not necessary. We have defined these followers and followings relation. We have updated this post created notification as well. In the following list, we have passed the users and rendered those users. Uh, this is also related to that. In the group item, we have made some cosmetic change. And the main thing is in the home page. Uh, we passed this, uh, not the main thing, but we just passed the followers. Okay, let's give it proper message. On main timeline, timeline only show posts that are relevant to the current user. Now, I'm going to do one very interesting thing, and this is going to be displaying photos for the group and for the user as well. If we go in the group page, we have this photos tab here as well. I think this is the only tab we need to implement. Um, there's nothing big remaining. Let's open profile slash view, and we're going to search for photos and we need to open profile controller as well and we need to get these photos from from the posts okay how are we going to do this we have the posts right here and in this case we need to select post attachments now let me write theory select everything from post attachments we need to do like this okay uh let's select this does the post attachment have created by okay there's this created by on the profile page we can use this created by Okay, I'm thinking right now, imagine the case that uh, me as a, like a, as a user Zura basically created a post on a specific um, group. So because that post is created by me, that post will appear here. But because I created that post inside the Vue.js developers, that post will appear inside the Vue.js developers timeline as well. Okay, the, the same post basically. So... Um, this is the Vue.js developers page. This is called um, the ID is 71. But if we check, this is Zura's profile page, basically. Uh, the same post is here. Should we do something similar for photos? I think we should do something similar for the photos. So then imagine the case that um, I'm an admin of this Vue.js developers group. So I created a post and added two attachments there. Then another admin edited that um, post and added more attachments there. So now I'm thinking what photos should be displayed here inside the user's photos only those two photos which I created 
I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, actually reproduce this. I will go in the Vue.js developers. I'm John Smith. Okay. Um, let's roll the page. By the way, where is this image? John Smith had that image. Oh, this is the Vue.js developers group. Okay, great. Uh, okay, inside the Vue.js developers, John Smith is basically attaching. Um, let's attach. Okay, this screen. And click on submit. So this, oops, we have an error. Inside uh, notifications post created. Argument two must be type of up. Okay, I know the reason. We have just broken something. Uh, we're gonna open post controller, and right here we're gonna pass the user. And I'm gonna create immediate comment message. Fix bug of um, submitting post inside group. Okay. That post is, is, uh, was actually submitted. Even though the notification failed, the post was submitted. Okay, and if I go right now in the John Smith timeline, I see this right here. However, in the Vue.js developers, there, there is this John uh, 2, which is also admin. So if I log out right now and log in as John 2, go inside the Vue.js developers. Aha, uh -huh, we don't have this edit functionality, so I don't... Even I'm also the admin of these Vue.js developers, I don't have this permission to edit a post which is submitted by another admin. This is how we decided to do. In this case, I don't see any issues. So we are good. We're selecting post attachments and we want to only select attachments which has MIME type starting with image. So we're uh, MIME like image slash okay this will give me only images and i also need to provide created by needs to be the current user so it's very simple select to be honest so let's go in the post controller or profile controller and we are going to select those attachments. Attachments equals post attachment theory. We're uh, actually we need we're like we're like mime uh, method we're like not found. We're okay. Let's just write we're like, and it is like mime slash actually image. We're mime like image, and we're we're um, created by is the current user ID and we're going to get all the attachments. Uh, let me open post resource. How are these attachments returned? We have post attachment resource. This is exactly what I wanted to use. And then I'm going to pass, um, let's call these photos. This is going to be our attachments but we need to use post attachment collection sorry uh, post attachment resource collection in passing these attachments however let's just rename and call photos 
we need to accept these photos inside profile slash view. What is this? Profile slash view. Hmm. This is it. Let's open also post item because this is the place where we are rendering attachments. And this is the comment list. This is post attachments. We're passing the attachments. Let's copy this and put this right here. And we're going to accept these attachments and then pass into here. And on attachment click, we need to also create that function. Let's search for define props and we're going to accept. Uh, let's call these photos because we called like this. This is going to be array. If we go down, then we're going to pass photos right here and open attachment. What does this do? It emits attachment click into parent. Okay. And what does the parent do? Uh, I think we did this inside post view. On attachment click, open attachment preview model. Okay, this is what we need. We need to do this in the profile view. Maybe we can create separate component for this as well, but I think we definitely need to um, just spread the content into different components. But for now, I'm just going to put this right here, open attachment preview model, and we need this variable, this and this as well. Now let's define them here. And the function is called open attachment. We're going to call open attachment preview model. We are passing photos. This should work. Let's go into John Smith page. I'm going to open developer tools just in case we have some errors. Let's go into photos. Uh, we have error. Let's reload the page. Let's go into photos. Okay, we don't have errors. The content is rendered. Post attachments. Okay, so this is post attachments. And here we are only displaying four, which is not what we want. Okay, then I'm going to create new component inside the profile and call tab photos. Then I am going to take this part. Actually, I'm going to open, grab everything, paste inside tab photos, We are going to accept right here, define props photos to be array. And we're going to iterate over our photos, entire list of photos. 
Um, this is something we can remove completely. Download is something we can leave. This arrow down tray icon is something we need to just get it from here and we need this paper clip icon. I'm going to copy this and inside my tab of photos I'm going to paste them. Okay, this is good. On attachment click we are going to do this preview and I'm going to create this function. Let's give that function. I'm going to call this function provide index. Let's grab this or the entire function and define it here. And we need these two variables as well. Oops. Define them here. On attachment preview model, let's rename this and call open open photo. I think we need this uh, model as well. The name is not correct. We're passing the entire post and we're passing the index and it is iterating over the post attachments. Let's format this code. This is the profile page and I am going to use now tab photos and I'm going to pass photos. I'm going to have a look. Okay, photos are displayed. I want um, I want to wrap this inside div. Uh, let's wrap everything inside div. Uh, and let's give it grid. Grid calls three um, and let's give this grid calls three on small screen and above but let's give grid calls two on small screens and below uh, we need gap as well okay so if we go in the photos now we see those are all the photos that is uploaded by the user. However, now this is what we need to implement, clicking on it. We set this variable show attachments modal, um, which I'm going to, by the way, call this show modal. And we have this preview attachments post, which is something I don't know. Um, let me search for it. We have this inside the attachment preview model. So let me grab this model. I need this. And I'm going to put this here. Show attachments model. We need show model for this. And we are going to provide attachments, which is going to be our photos. And preview attachments post, which we just need index. Um, current photo index, let's give it now, um, zero. Uh, then we set this value to be index. We don't care this post, we can remove that. And here we're going to provide current photo index. Then when the open photo is called, we just provide index. That should work. 
Okay, this opens the attachment. If I click here, it opens the proper attachment. Now we start navigating and um, just browsing the photos. We can see all of them. Great, as soon as we hit the end, then there is no more photos. And just like this, we have implemented Photos tab uh, for the users. Let's do the same thing for the groups. We need now to go in the group controller. And let me get the select for photos. And I'm going to put this right here. And I am going to modify some things. So I want to, I'm selecting right now post attachments where the created by the current user. However, in this case, I want to select all the post attachments. We're going to join, join into posts as P, where post ID equals to post attachments um, post ID. Once we join to posts, then we need to join into group users. Let's write. Um, let's give it an alias, GU. And I'm going to provide right here a function because I need uh, two conditions on this join. So I need the first condition will be that the GU uh, group user post ID needs to equal post attachments or PID group user post ID needs to equal to PID and we need another where uh, where group user user ID needs to equal to the current user ID so we need right here use user ID Let's provide this user ID and we need another where group user status needs to be group user status approved. Where MIME is like this and this where needs to be removed. Okay, let's provide these photos. Maybe we made some mistake, but we're going to fix. Let's provide these photos. Let's go in the group slash view. And where are our photos? Here we see this. And I need to use tab photos. Uh, let's find define props. And we are going to accept photos here to be array. Then I'm going to pass photos here to be photos. And that should be enough. If I go right now inside Vue.js developers and we have this error. Unknown post GU post ID. Uh, GU doesn't have post ID, that's correct. So we join into posts. The post has group ID. Then we join into group users where the group ID here equals posts group ID and groups user ID is this. 
when the status is approved. Okay, let's let's see this. Let's open developer tools and let's go in photos. Okay, I think we don't return the uh, collection of the photos, and this is the reason why don't we see a post attachment resource collection provide photos. If I reload right now and go in the go in the photos, we see all these photos. But should I see all of them? I don't know. I haven't uploaded this. I think I should not see all of them. What is the query selected right here? Uh, I just want to see photos. SQL to SQL. I want to see what query is executed. So here we see that. Let's copy this and open my database client and let's debug this query. So we start select from the post attachments, we join into posts. We need this. Then we join into group users. Where the group user group ID should be the same as the post group ID and the group user user ID needs to be whatever in the status needs to be. Okay, now if I just change these question marks into user ID and I execute this and provide one. Uh, this should be different. This should be image slash asterisk uh, percent. Group user user ID equals. It does not return anything. Right now, I'm authenticated as user one, I think. Let's have a look. No, I am John two. But I'm checking this inside this Vue.js developers. I need to provide somewhere the group ID. I'm checking right now. Okay, I now, now I get it. So the variable here should not be the user ID. The variable here should be the group ID. But why does this return empty result? Because here we need status. That should be approved. Okay, we have this 38 now. Okay, uh, and we need to provide the group ID. And GU group ID is the current group ID, which is the Vue.js developers and uh, this, the Vue.js developers, has ID 12. Now, if we execute this, why do we see still 12? From post attachments, we join to uh, posts. And I want to print what is P group ID. 12. I think this is correct because I remember now that um, all the posts which I 
created as a John Smith user on my global timeline in the like uh, in the first part of the video where we didn't have group yet but then I moved into group so I basically provided this uh, group ID where is the group ID uh, here I basically provided this group ID on all the those posts now what I'm going to do is just go in the group controller I think we have everything correct what I need to change is that I'm joining based on the group ID but I also need to provide that the uh, group ID group ID needs to be that group ID so we use group ID here and the status needs to be approved so from post attachments why do I need okay I got confused again um, so this this group users is only necessary when we want to detect if the current user has permission to that uh, group or not post attachment or not so in this case I think it's much simple we just need to join into posts and we're gonna write where post group post group ID is given group ID let's test this I think this should be correct uh, let's go inside about and we see all those attachments let's open posts and I want to filter them let's order by group ID I'm gonna remove this 12 set now now if I reload these photos we see only small part and if I set now here as well we we still see because we have even more I'm gonna set now here as well and I see only one post good now if I go inside this Vue.js developers and create um, and if I attach few more images submit that this is created and if we go in the photos we see all of them now I will log in as Mary Go inside the Vue.js developers. And Mary is not uh, joined to Vue.js developers, so we'll request to join, and John will have to will have to approve that. Click on approve, and then when Mary will log in there, she can um, attach something let's add even more click on submit they are uploaded and in the photos we see them as well 
which is exactly what we expected. The only thing what I would do is uh, sort those attachments by date descending. So if I go in the group controller, uh, I'm going to provide here order by, um, hold on, let's remove this. We are going to uh, select only attachments, post attachments dot everything. And then we need latest. Now, if I reload them in the photos, we see latest photos. And if I open this post table again, where we resetted this 12, I can recover it on some of them. And we reload and we are going to see much more images there. And the download works as well. Okay, and just like this, we have implemented Photos tab as well. This is uh, for the UJS developers, and we have done this for my profile as well. Hold on. So here I uploaded these two pictures right now. Mary uploaded these two pictures. But I don't see them, this uh, keyboard and the mouse, I don't see them in the profile, in the profile photos. I see them at the very bottom. I see. We need to sort them by descending in the profile controller as well. So we need latest here as well. Okay, I think this is correct. The next part is going to be pretty exciting. We're gonna use OpenAI's API and implement the functionality to generate social media post content with just providing the prompt. It's gonna be pretty interesting.